Hey, greetings everyone and welcome back to my cybersecurity show and today we are continuing in our Web Security Academy, right? The old port swigger goodness that we've been working on the old series, doing the labs, having the fun, doing all the hacky things, which is what we like to do. And today is no exception because we are going to be doing one of my favorite things in the world, which is remote code execution. And we're going to double the, the fun with web shell uploads. It is, it's a good time had by all. I know I thoroughly enjoy it. So let's jump into today's lab. There it is, remote code execution via web shell upload. Mm, it's a good time. It says this lab contains a vulnerable image upload function. It doesn't perform any validation on the files users upload before storing them on the server file system. That's called wrong. You shouldn't do that. Don't do that. Because if it's not validating anything, it just goes, cool, I'm basically just you know, a file storage. Welcome to your free cloud storage. Enjoy it. It says to solve the lab, which is what we're really interested in, upload a basic PHP web shell and use it to exfiltrate the contents of the file home Carlos secret. I wonder what's inside of that. Wouldn't it be funny if it was like, <laughs> you know, oh, it's a secret, right? Oh, these are, these are the secret FBI files that Carlos used to be in the CIA. And he knows who, you know, shot JFK and what happened really with the moon landing and all the other fun conspiratorial things that are out there in the interwebs. It's probably not. It's probably just some UUID or something. But it would be cooler if the answer to this lab is John Wilkes Booth or, you know, Jack Ruby, Ruby, right? Jack Ruby that shot uh, Lee Harvey Oswald who shot JFK. Man, it was just a, hey, the conspiracies abound. Who was on the grassy knoll? Maybe it was you. Maybe it wasn't. Probably not. Let's see here. Submit this secret using the button provided in the lab banner. You can log into your own account using the following credentials. Wiener, Peter, and because I never spell that right, I'm going to copy that. Bam. So I can just paste it in. And you don't have to see me butcher that. I've already got the lab up and running, so all we have to do is log in and start the fun. And now a couple of fun things. As you'll notice, it said a basic PHP web shell. PHP is all over the joint. It's very common. You find it in uh, different web applications out there. You would think that because it's kind of an older technology that you wouldn't see it as much, but no, it's still there. It's still doing its thing. It's quite useful. So you will still see it. And when you do, it does this really neat thing that if you can show it some PHP code, a lot of times it'll go, Hey, that's PHP. I'm, I know PHP. I'll execute the PHP because it's PHP and we're just PHP it up all day long. Uh, so that's what we're going to do via this web, uh, this upload area. So let's get over here. Here is the lab environment. I'll click on my account and now we'll get logged in, right? Click and paste in the name that I can never spell. Peter, on the other hand, easy peasy, get logged in. No, thank you, Bitwarden. We see that we are logged in and we've got a browse for a file to upload for our avatar. Hmm. Right. So if I wanted to upload an image of myself or, you know, uh, Tom and Jerry or whatever the heck I'm thinking of, Woody Woodpecker or something, I could have a good time and do that. My favorite meme, uh, anime character, whatever the case is, you could put that there. But because there is no upload um, validation, it's not looking and going, hey, is this an actual image or a GIF or a JPEG or a PNG or something like that? Because those are image files. What, what's this? Oh, oh, nothing. Nothing at all. It's just a PHP file. Oh, okay, cool. No, not cool. So if you looked at the uh, training portion of this lab, you will see some examples that they gave you. And I actually kind of copied them down for us, PHP one-liners. So I will cat PHP one-liners. Here they are. We have a read arbitrary files, PHP one-liner. It's fairly simple, right? You got PHP, you open up and say, hey, I'm going to do some PHP coding, which is what PHP code looks like. And then you say file get contents and then the path to the target file. And you then you're good. Whatever file you put in that little character there, it will run and grab. So I could, I could technically use this. One that I like to use a little more because it's a little more useful is the simple web shell. And I'm glad that they told us, hey, use the simple web shell because this is way easier. And if I were really hacking this thing, this would be something more along the lines of what I would want to use. So 
uh, we've got this PHP echo system get command. So I need this piece right here. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to save this into a file. And we're just going to call it shell.php. So I'm going to, what, nano or whatever you like to use, your editor of choice, nano shell.php. And in that, I'm just shift control V to paste that in. Now, there's a couple of things that are going on in here, right? You got the PHP ecosystem. This system call is basically saying, hey, the underlying operating system, I need it to run a command. And you'll notice that we give it a string of command. Now that doesn't mean that like that's the command I want it to run. What that gives me, because you'll notice we got this dollar sign get, which allows me to have that as a part of the, uh, as a query string in the URL. So basically what's going to end up happening is I'm going to, in the address bar at the top of our screen, I'm going to do HTTP colon slash slash, you know, whatever, whatever.com. You know, this is our vulnerable web app. And maybe we've stored this because it's a file upload. Maybe it's in something like files slash images. And then we have this, which will be shell.php. That's going to be kind of, I'm, I'm making all this up. This isn't really the lab part. I'm just kind of giving you a, for instance, of what we're about to do. It's a whole lot easier to see here, actually. So what I'm going to do, if I want this command, I'm going to add a question mark to the end of this and then give it the word command because that's my query string. And then what do I want it to do? Do I want to do ID? Do I want to do LS? Do I want it to do who am I? Do I want it to do, you know, uh, yeah, have cat slash, what was it? Home slash Carlos slash secret. That's, that's what we can do, right? And you'll notice it didn't care. It, and it won't care if I have a space between cat and home. You don't have to worry about that stuff. Sometimes you might have to. So a little URL, like percent %20, I think, is a space. Just throw that in there, and then it won't get messed up if it is having trouble with white space characters. But that should be basically what we're going to do. So let me let me get this stuff out of there, because I'll just Control-K that line. I don't need it. Perfect. I will Control-S, Control-X. And now when I cat shell.php... I have everything I need. Perfect, right? You also might see system as something different. Maybe it says exec. Maybe it says shell or shell exec. I can't remember which one it is right now, but there are a couple other ways in which you could uh, get this to work. Uh, system's a fine one though, so I, I like system. Okay, so now that we have that, we are going to browse for that, and we have shell.php right there. Just highlight it and hit up or uh, open and upload. If all things works, it does say that the file avatars slash shell.php has been uploaded. Cool. So I can go back to my accounts and up in the uh, URL string here, it said it was an avatars, A V A T A R S slash shell.php. And then we put the question mark command equals, and I can do something like ID. Hmm, I got a not found. Weird. Okay. We're not dead in the water yet. So it's saying it doesn't find that. So I probably just have the wrong file path. Let's go back because this was an image. I should be able to, you see this like broken image link right here. If I right click on that and hit copy image link, a lot of times you can do that. And then just paste and go in an address bar in a new tab. Now I can see I'm in slash files, slash avatars, slash shell.php. And there we can do question mark, command equals ID, right? And now you see I'm getting shell action. All that's left for us to do at this point is to read that old secret file. So let's do that. I don't want ID. I want to cat uh, slash home slash Carlos slash because I am logged in as Carlos. That's the interesting thing. You can see that right there, right? UID, uh, Carlos, all these things say Carlos. When I did ID, it, it came back with Carlos. I am logged in as Carlos. I'm the, the web app is running as Carlos. Let's put it that way. And then it was secret. Let's hit that. And there it is. So let's take a look at this big old string here. That's it. okay. Interesting. Okay. I will highlight. Actually, I will 
I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so I don't have to go too crazy. There we go. Highlight that. Copy. And go to here. And they said there's a submit solution. You paste it in. You hit OK. And you get the answer is incorrect. Please try again. Interesting. And let's go back. And we're obviously reading the file. So there, there must be something. Maybe we're missing a character. Or I did highlight the whole thing. Uh, okay. So here's an interesting thing. It is repeating. Right? That right there is the same as that right there. You can see that the last, what, four or five characters, E-I-X-M-E, -E, and there it is right there, E-I-X-M-E. -E. Starts with 6-G-H-P-C-A, 6-G-H-P-C-A. So for whatever reason, it's, you know what? I do see this. I, I think I know why this is doing this. From time to time, when I get an actual shell, like a, like a in the terminal, I use like a netcat listener or something, and I get a reverse shell back, it will echo the same thing, like things over again. And that's just because we're using some janky web shell, right? It's just one of the weird things about it that you got to be, if you didn't know that, you probably, if you've never experienced it before, you wouldn't know, right? So experience is great, is the best teacher. So let's try just, you know, using one, not the doubling, just, just once and see if that works. Submit solution, hit paste, and OK. And I've submitted you. It's like it's not doing anything. I don't know if that's good or let's try submit solution again. Paste. OK. Let's... Uh, Redo this. Hey, there it is. Just had to refresh the page, I guess. Whew. Had me sweating there for a second, but congratulations. We have solved the lab. Oh, man. That one, that was a little bit of a nail biter there for a second. I thought, uh oh. <laughs> I'm looking bad here, Port Swig. You're making me look bad. I'm going to get upset. But whew, just a little refresh. web apps, right? You can't. What are you going to do? You can't live with them. You can't shoot them in the head um, because they don't have one. They're, they're just a web application. Maybe. That's where we get the idea of a headless server, right? <laughs> a lot of fun. Tech jokes, ladies and gentlemen. They are a good time had by all. But that is this one. Hopefully you got something out of that and you enjoyed this. If you did, of course, as always, I would implore you to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. I'm trying to grow the thing. Just trying to, you know, be a, be a voice out there and helping other people. And the more that you share this kind of stuff, the more people that can be reached by it and can be helped. So that's just what I want to do. So help us out. Help me help you help me help you. Right. Till next time, everyone. See you later and keep hacking.